everyone, it's Miss Amy. We are in my summer kitchen in my barn and I have picked some lupin leaves and we are going to do uh, some uh, nature printing. So I wanna show you um, this really quickly, okay? So this is a t-shirt that I printed some strawberry leaves and then I drew the strawberry flowers or painted them and the strawberries, but I printed the strawberry leaves on that. So today we're, um, I started this morning, I did a couple, I did a fern, um, but it was windy and everything outside. So I want to do this big fern uh, before it wilts too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, paint on the leaves, okay? So I'm going to just take the leaves and I'm going to paint on the leaves, okay? I don't know if you can see this. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm gonna paint on the leaves so that I can then press them down into the fabric, okay? And I want a good amount of it I'm on each of the leaves. Okay, I'm going to do the stem. All right, so here are, oop, my, there's my lupin all painted, okay? And I am going to put it down like this. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Like that, like that. I take that, like that, put that. And now I am going to press the leaves down, okay? And this gets messy but I'm going to press them and the stem right down on there, okay? So that the paint gets on my shirt. And I have inside, um, I have just a, one of those foam uh, packing envelopes, but cardboard works or whatever. You can use whatever kind of leaves that you want I'm using just simple acrylic paint, okay? Uh, a paintbrush. I am going to now peel it. Ooh, this worked so much better. This morning when I did the first ones, I went, oh, look at that. Look, guys. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so because that is a lupin flower, so I have another one, and I want to do... Um, I'm gonna do another, um, I'm gonna do a smaller lupin um, set of leaves and then um, I'm real, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna paint with my fingers, I'm gonna do a fingerprint lupin flowers. But I want to get, because lupin flowers just don't, um, don't print well. Um, so this, make it all of that, make sure I got plenty of paint on it, okay, yep, go like that, paint, okay, so again, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one right over here, oops, Right here. Okay. Turn that flower like that. I'm gonna spread that out. Okay, and here we go. Again, I'm gonna press the, the leaves. Oops, I'm gonna try and get that one up. That leaf is squished and maybe it will print better right there you go all right there 
this the leaf and the stem and then you can see the fern a little bit of the fern that I did earlier okay so now I'm gonna pull it off nicely done okay so now uh, let's see now I want to get and I get my brush kind of fixed I'm gonna go like that I'm gonna use that on there get some of this brush off okay and then oof, and I have a lot of paint on my fingers but that's okay okay uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a purple bluish one first um, so I got purple blue because most of them are purple and blue and I am simply going to use my fingers and I'm just gonna do it so that it kind of mixes uh, let's see least okay least amount okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm looking at this lupin flower okay and I'm looking at it to kind of see what how I want to do this okay I don't want to get too much on there okay, I got a lot Everyone will know that this is a lupin because of the way that it is formed. I'm going to do a couple more down here. Like that. I love it. And one right there. Okay. So, it is pretty clear that that is a lupin flower. Okay, I'm going to do one up here, like this, kind of hidden in here. Move that out of the way. Fingerprints are just the right size for a lupin flower. Okay. And there we are. Okay, and most lupins, I'm going to do one over here, are purpley blue. So. I'm gonna go like that, and I'm just gonna go like that, like that, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do one more flower. I want a pinky pinky white one because some are pink and white so I'm going to do really quick a pinky white one on here and I'm gonna go like that I'm gonna go like this and I love it maybe a little purple in there Ooh. Nope. 
purple. And I have just made this beautiful lupin shirt. And what I'm gonna do is to set this, I am going to let it dry overnight and then I am going to put it into the dryer to set the colors. Okay. And I'm gonna do a couple of really quick stems. Okay. I think I'm going to do the stem maybe a different color. Let's just go like this. That is not a good color. Let's do like this. Like that. There. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And here is my Lupin shirt. So, have fun. You can do this, remember, with anything at all. And the firmer the leaf is, the easier it is to uh, print with it. Um, try all kinds of things, different textures, different things. Grass works great. Um, sumac leaves, um, oak leaves. Maple leaves, they all work fabulous. Try it. Hugs, happy nature printing. Miss Amy.